2021 budget, uh, what would you say initially about having sat through the three hour reading of this budget? Um, let me go to the substance you know, straight away. Um, I think this is a budget which um, raised expectations, but I think some of it was uh, dampened at the, by the time it was, it was ended because um, we were supposed to be going into an era despite COVID where uh, there were a lot of significant achievements in three years. COVID has been barely one year now. <clears throat> um, but we ended up being told or a confirmation of what institutions like the IMF, uh, Moody's, and some uh, local analysts have been saying uh, was a worsening situation before COVID. And I hope I will have to, you know, uh, make that distinction as we go ahead because the situation was deteriorating before COVID. Um, and therefore, the attempt to put everything on COVID, you know, is something which uh, with time would come to be appreciated by many people um, as having the country being in a condition that is actually worse, you know, than, than what it should have been, even with COVID. That's not to downplay COVID, but I think it's important to be candid, you know, in stating that we had these difficulties before COVID. <clears throat> these are difficulties, you know, which COVID has added. Now, I say it's been dampened because uh, one would have expected a very robust, you know, um, uh, economy going into the end of 2020. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't happen, partly because of COVID, but also, uh, as I said, not necessarily, you know, because of, of COVID. We ended up with uh, an administration that, you know, had shown its abhorrence for uh, using taxes in particular to resolve, you know, crisis. And I say this because much of the crisis that faced the economy between 2015, end of 2014 and 2016, uh, had to do with major crises, the global financial crisis, the aftermath of it, which saw many uh, sub-Saharan African countries and others like Nigeria, Syria, uh, South Africa and others going to Angola going to recession. Uh, Ghana escaped recession. We are now in a, in a recession. Um, it also had the disruption in gas supply from Nigeria, you know, which uh, was questioned in one word, you know, doom so, um, for which a lot of capital was made. <clears throat> then we also had, you know, uh, problems with the tariff bearing and others which did not make the Jubilee partners realize the full potential you know, of, the, of that oil field. So I'm putting this in context to say that um, we have gone to various crises in the past um, and we would have expected that with three oil fields, you know, from 2017 recovery in price, we could have managed some of these crises better, including the IMF, you know, loan and other things which were meant to resolve, you know, COVID. So in sum, when you look at this, and resorting to more taxes, you know, than previous crises, in addition to all those loans. Uh, I think it left a lot of people aghast, you know, by that, by the time, you know, that portion of the speech, you know, began to be read. And you could, you could see from the reaction, you know, from private sector, GPR to you businessmen and others, you know, that there's been a tinge of disappointment, you know, in, you know, where, the measures were headed and where the economy is headed.